Hey everyone, it's Fanola Howard and this is Ask Fanola How. And today on this glorious Wednesday afternoon that is just beautiful out there. Today we're kind of, we're on episode 40 and we're following through this uh, kind of theme that we were doing of so many questions we were asked around this idea of when you get your, you know, you do this deep work on brand and identity and you finally embrace that beautiful business that you are and that purpose that you have in the world and then you get a little scared and we talked about how this is normal because this is where you are at this point of actually touching your own brilliance you know you were at that space where you always meant to be you know and finally embracing it and then last week we talked about creating a daily practice around that to help elevate you so that you actually truly step into this space. Kind of the third part of this, and all of these things are really powerful things to, to do, but the third part of this is actually to get that brand and that identity out there. And this is when marketers generally talk about the launch, <laughs> okay? So launching that brand and that light identity out into the world. So a few thoughts on this, I've loads of thoughts on this, in fact, as I always do, you know, but <clears throat> the thing that I want you to think about first, right, is what are you actually launching? That's what I want you to think about first, okay? So this deep work that you've been doing to actually really own the space and own your why and own your purpose and to put a shape on that, then to translate that into graphics and identity, how does that help your customer. That's ultimately what we're asking here. So when we move into launch, what I want you to think about is be specific on what you're launching. Now, awareness building is always a really strong part of a successful campaign. You need that preamble, preamble before you go to sell something to your customers and to conversion. You need to build and deepen this relationship with them. And launching a brand alone in isolation with nothing else tacked on to the end of it is actually a waste of an opportunity. When you do this deep work about brand, what should also be happening around this work around brand and identity is a real sense check on whether your products and services still align with that brand and identity. Do they fit? Does it flow? It's what we call and get strategic aligning the product journey. We have to make sure that everything fits and everything flows. So that, because if you come to the brand exercise and that deep development piece with a product that happened before you stepped into who you more fully are meant to be and what you're meant to do in the world, that product, I will predict for you, is out of date. Unless you bring it into alignment, it won't connect. And unless you bring that product or service that is the answer to your customer's pain point, unless you bring that into alignment, your customers and potential customers will see a disconnect or a dissonance between who you are and the solution you bring to the marketplace. So before you go into launch mode, check for alignment. Check, first of all, make sure that you're not just coming with, I want to launch my lovely new identity that actually has no impact on their lives, okay? It's massive, really important. But again, when we're communicating, we want to be of service to the world, service to our customers. So we need to make sure that when we come with this new identity, we come with an answer to their problem. Your brand and your identity is effectively a trailer for the movie that you want them to watch, okay? Now, this just makes sense. This is not about you know, always being in sales mode. But remember, you are a business. So there is a point here where you have to close the sale. But we were making sure that in our dialogue and in our communication and everything that we construct in our businesses to make sure that they can work really successfully, that you have something to offer that is in alignment with the pain that they have that you want to solve. So when you come to the market with the launch, you launch powerfully and proudly this new identity because you've stepped into it. When you build awareness, showing who you are to the marketplace, and then you come with something else to, the, to this dialogue, to this campaign, and you come with an answer and you come with something to convert.
This is where we start to talk conversion in the marketing process. Okay, so think about this. Your brand tells the market why you're here and your product or service is the answer to the problem that you were meant to solve. So your brand is simply the precursor to the answer to their pain point. Okay, so next step. So when you start to really think about this, and start to really think about this in your planning because the key part is of, of a successful launch is effective planning and forward planning. And planning for with a specific start date and a specific end date in mind, okay? So that your customer knows that you're not in constant launch mode, knows that there is an ebb and flow to the business, knows that you will communicate and build relationship with them and when the time is right, you will bring something to the market which is an answer to their problem. And it has a defined end date, a start date and an end date. And this is the beauty of the launch. So we plan it way ahead of time. We plan it in advance and we plan it in a way that there is no stress associated with it. We want to eliminate the stress associated, associated with a launch or a campaign because we want to make sure that you have sufficient time to make sure it's not a lot of time. I want you to have 30 solid days where you know what's coming out to the marketplace. And what you come to the marketplace with is something that is a game changer for your business, a lever in your business, something that is repeatable, something that is significant for the growth of your business. You want to give yourself enough time to release that into the marketplace so that you have time to connect with your customers and communicate effectively, showing them the transformation that will occur when they buy this thing or this service from you, okay? So you plan ahead of time. So always when we're doing launch, we know day by day what's being released at each point. When is it appropriate to release this piece, that piece and the other piece? That, inv that, is, that includes things like social media posts, your video, your email, any kind of physical locations like meetings or things that you can dovetail in that, that will support that effective and successful launch for you. So we plan with a specific timeline in mind and we know what we're going to do in advance. We also, in the preparatory stage, will batch produce stuff so that you know you're not, you're not doing a 30-day campaign where you go, today is Wednesday, so today let me write something. You're not doing that. You have this pre-prepared in advance. So when you're in your pre-preparation mode, you are actually batch producing a whole suite of messaging that allows for effective release that has greater impact in the marketplace for conversion. And as you batch, you will start to see, ah, oh, there's a flow to this. I'm answering these kinds of problems or answering these kinds of questions that my customers might have about what I bring to the marketplace. I am answering the, as the salespeople will say, I'm answering objections before they're ever laid on the table in front of us. So we batch produce stuff and batch produce the content and the individual posts so that we can see the flow of the messaging through it and we can make sure that everything is in alignment and we can also make sure that we are showing the transformation that will occur, answering objections, all of these key things that are important considerations before a customer chooses us. So we are taking all of these boxes ahead of time so that you have a stress-free launch. More than that, you have a successful launch, okay? So there is a route for this and it allows you to craft the language really well in this process. And the reason you do also do it ahead of time is because it allows you that space to listen as the campaign evolves, to listen to these subtle kind of language or questions you're being asked that will allow you to insert other things into the process to make sure that everything works really well. Again, answering objections before they become objections. You're listening to the marketplace and going, is this correct? Is this in alignment? Will this speak to them? Will this speak to them? Will this speak to them? And these are the kinds of questions that we answer. Um, let me just think if there's anything else. Yes, we also need to intersperse things like proof, social proof, testimonials, 
all of those things that are a necessary part of this campaign process. But the really important thing is, don't just launch a brand alone. Launch an answer to a problem. Make sure that it's a lever in your business. That's something that will move your business and fulfill your goals and ambitions for your business. So not just a logo. It is more than that. It is an answer to a problem that your customer has. And it is something that will build forward momentum for your business. We plan it ahead of time. We make sure it's in a stress-free uh, timeline so that you can make the most of every piece that goes out there. And then you ask for the sale at the end of it. And you also make sure that there are certain moments in this process where very often people take the foot off the pedal and actually leave money on the table because some other piece of the puzzle need to be pushed through and need to be underlined to make it work most successfully. And we also need to look at those moments. They're very predictable of when they happen and there are key points in this process. So in the planning of this uh, launch, we take that into account too. Um, launching can be really simple, can be methodical, can be insightful and can be creative when you have the time to implement it. And I'd like to use this opportunity now to invite you to a programme that I'm running for a small group of people. And it's where we will do a deep dive into the launch process for something that you want to launch and go live in September. Now's the time to actually do the prep work for that. And we start that programme on the 7th of June. And if you're interested in joining me for that programme, DM me and ask me if you'd like to be part of this programme and just type launch in the subject line. And I'd love to tell you more about it and have you with me on this really good and impactful practical program that help, will help you launch successfully. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.